PeopleSoft Update Image 43 adds six search definitions that are certified by PeopleSoft FSCM applications for real-time indexing. These search definitions require a minimum of PeopleTools 85904 or 85906 and can be enabled without additional application uptake. This completes the real-time indexing feature description. PeopleSoft FSCM supports the National Automated Clearinghouse Association, also known as NACHA, and its data security requirements for the protection of direct deposit bank account numbers when used with automated clearinghouse entries. These applications support the new NACHA requirements. Use the Bank Account Number Encryption page to validate the encryption and decryption profiles and then run the process to encrypt bank account numbers in your PeopleSoft system. After the process, PeopleSoft pages display the bank account number in a masked format. Those who have permission can decrypt the bank account number by selecting the Unmask button. This completes the Bank Account Number Encryption and Masking feature description. PeopleSoft FSCM adds the Review Navigation Search Updates utility, enabling you to review updated content references delivered in Navigation Search Updates. These updates support the Navigation Search Enhancements delivered with PeopleTools 859. With this utility, you can manage which updates are applied to your production environment. On the Review Navigation Search Updates page, the Portal Content References Update section displays the updated content reference labels, descriptions, and keywords delivered with Navigation Search Updates. The section also displays the object name and parent folder associated with each content reference. To help visualize where the updates were made, the original content reference information is also displayed. Use the process flag to indicate whether or not you want to apply the updated label to your production environment. Please note that updating the process flag alone does not change the content references in your target environment. To implement the changes, you must use Change Assistant to rerun the Data Mover script responsible for exporting the staging table data. Use the Update Process Flag section to set all process flags in the Portal Content References Update section to Yes or No. Use the Search Filters section to filter the content reference information. You can filter based on content reference object name, parent folder, bug number, or owner. This completes the Navigation Search feature description. PeopleSoft enhances the fluid requisition process by allowing requesters to order using Express Forms. Use the predefined and configurable forms, like business cards, to enter the required form details and add to the cart. This completes the Create Requisitions Using Forms feature description. Project Costing features include Project Team Updates and Project Work Center Enhancements. PeopleSoft enhances the Project Update Wizard to update project teams. This feature allows you to update multiple projects in a single action, add new project team members, their project role, and scheduled start and end dates. Using the Projects Update Wizard, select Project Team as the update type and enter a description for the change for Step 1. In Step 2, enter new values for the update type. For example, add two new employees to project teams and proceed to the next step. You'll select the projects and activities for the update type in Step 3. Enter the search parameters and then select the project or projects to update. In the Projects grid, select one or more projects to update and proceed to the next step in the wizard. Step 4 of the wizard allows you to review the changes to the project team. 
You can change the project role, schedule start, and end date. Ensure the new dates are between the project start date and end date and submit the update. A confirmation page displays the projects and activities updated through the process. PeopleSoft adds a My Work exception to the Fluid Project Costing Work Center that identifies inactive project team members. This actionable exception allows you to replace a terminated employee on a project team with another employee. The inactive project team members exception displays project team members who are terminated or are scheduled to be terminated. To clear an exception, select that row and then the Actions button. If the terminated employee isn't being replaced, select the Update Team Member End Date action to update their scheduled end date on the project. Choose Replace Team Member to replace the team member with another employee. The project role, start and end date, default from the terminated employee, but can be changed. Complete the transaction. The system adds the new employee to the project team and updates the terminated employee's scheduled end date to the day prior to their termination. This completes the demonstrations for project costing. Expenses features include time entry and approval enhancements, withdraw travel authorization, and receipt required enhancements. PeopleSoft Expenses enhances the time entry and approval pages so you can see the approval chain for the time report. After submitting the time entry transaction, the Approvals button is available. Select the Approvals button to access the Approval Status window and view the status of the timesheet. This window also displays the employee who is due to take action, their profile, the date and time of the employee's action, and comments that the employee entered. During the time report approval process, the approver also has access to the approval chain and can add approvers if needed. PeopleSoft Expenses enhances travel authorizations by adding the ability to withdraw a travel authorization after it's been submitted. When you select the Withdraw button, the travel authorization is removed from the approval chain and changes the status to Pending. PeopleSoft Expenses enhances the Expense Report feature by adding multiple options in Business Unit and User Default Setup that influence the Expense Entry page. A new setup option is added to enforce receipts. When selected, this option prevents an expense report from being submitted to the approver if an attachment is not added for lines that violate the minimum amount established by your organization. In this example, the entered expense is over the minimum amount specified in setup. When you save the report, you'll receive an error indicating that you can't submit the report unless you correct the transaction. You can take one of two actions, attach a receipt to the expense report, or explain why there is no receipt in the exception comment section. Select exception comment and enter a comment to comply with organizational requirements. The system removes the error and you can submit the expense report for approval. This feature removes the responsibility of the approver to send an expense report back to an employee if they don't attach a receipt. You can also now attach one receipt at the header level for all lines of an expense report. For example, if you're staying at a hotel and you have one bill that covers all of your expenses. This example displays two expense rows. After entering each row, an error exists on both rows indicating no receipt is attached. Per your organization, it's okay to attach a receipt at the header level for all lines. Access the Attachments window for the Expense Report header. You can do this before or after the lines are entered. 
A new toggle is available to indicate that you're attaching a receipt at the header level. Change the toggle to Yes and attach your receipt. When you return to the Details page and after selecting Save, the errors are removed and you can submit the expense report. This completes the feature descriptions for expenses. Asset management features include Kibana for asset management, work order time entry, work order parts from my tasks, and cost distribution for leased assets. PeopleSoft Asset Management delivers two Kibana dashboards that provide greater visibility into accounting period and year-over-year -year asset cost, depreciation, amortization, and more. The Asset Analytics Dashboard allows you to analyze asset data for an asset management business unit, book, fiscal year, and accounting period. The visualizations and data displayed on the dashboard are based on values for these filters. You can specify default business unit and book values using the Asset Management User Preferences page. This dashboard includes visualizations that display metrics like asset total cost and net book value. At the bottom of the dashboard, the Asset Details table displays a list of assets shown in the visualizations. Use the Asset link to access the printable view of Asset page and view more details about the asset. The Year-over-Year -year Asset Analytics Dashboard allows you to view trends of asset activity and the financial impact. The visualizations and data displayed are based on values for the business unit and book filters. This dashboard includes visualizations like Year-over-Year -year Asset Acquisitions, and year-over-year -year period depreciation amortization. Additional features for this dashboard are similar to those of the Asset Analytics Dashboard. PeopleSoft Maintenance Management enhances Mobile Technician with the Weekly Time Entry feature. This feature provides a central location to log work order task and personal hours using the PeopleSoft Fluid user interface. From the Mobile Technician My Tasks page, select a work order task and then select the Weekly Time Entry button. The Weekly Time Entry page provides a fluid user interface for logging work order task and personal hours. The Weekly Time Periods panel displays the current week as well as the past 11 time periods. Select Past or Present Time Periods to view or update the entries. The right side of the page displays the selected weekly period and the fields necessary to log work order task or personal hours. The Time Entry section displays previously entered work order tasks or personal time entries. Use the individual date fields to enter or adjust task and personal hours. Future date fields are disabled. Select the Details icon to access the Work Order Details page and add resource line, craft, and comment details to the task. Select the Add Timeline icon to add new work order tasks or personal non-work order time to the weekly time entry. Select the prompt to access the work order task and personal hours page, where you can specify the work order tasks or personal time codes you want to add. Use the work order task and personal hours page to select a recent work order task and add it to the weekly time entry. You can select a personal time reporting code, such as jury duty or vacation, to add to the weekly time entry. PeopleSoft Maintenance Management enhances Mobile Technician with the Materials and Services pages. This enhancement enables you to add materials, generate a PIC plan, and issue inventory parts to the work order task. In addition, you can view information about procured services scheduled for the task. On the Materials page, select the Add Materials button to access the Add Material Lookup page and search for items to add to the parts list. After selecting an item from the Lookup page, the items appear in the Parts List section. 
The item type column indicates whether an item is an inventory, floor stock, procurement, or on-hand item. This data provides a technician with the information necessary to gather the materials for the work order task. Select an item row to access the detail page, where you can edit item quantity and delivery instructions. Use the Run Pick Plan button to generate a picking plan for inventory and floor stock materials in the pick list. Select the Issue to Work Order button to access the Issue Inventory Parts page. Use the Issue Inventory Parts page to view inventory parts available to issue. Select the Storage Location link to modify the quantity to issue. Use the Services page to view information about procured services scheduled for the task. PeopleSoft Lease Administration enhances leased asset cost distribution to allow general ledger account distributions to default from the Asset Management Accounting Entry Template. This feature applies to account distributions that are related to the lease liability and right of use asset. To enable this feature, select the Use Asset Management Accounting Templates checkbox on the Lease Administration Business Unit Definition General page. This completes the feature descriptions for asset management. PeopleSoft enhances the purchasing process by automating it to create procurement contracts to establish items, pricing, and other information. PeopleSoft purchasing contracts ensures the proper price is associated when creating requisitions and purchase orders. This completes the Load Utility for Purchasing Contracts feature description. PeopleSoft Strategic Sourcing enhances the Invite Bidders process, enabling you to import contacts en masse using a comma-separated values file. On the Invite Bidders page, select the Upload Contacts from File button to upload bidder contact information from a comma-separated values file. The file should consist of only two columns, one for contact name and another for email address. Do not include a header or label row. After you upload the file, a new row is created in the Bidder Invitation list with Upload underscore AUC for the Bidder ID. Select the Details icon to access the Upload Event Contacts page and review the data uploaded. The Upload Event Contacts page displays the bidder contact information uploaded from the comma-separated values file. You can modify the contact and email information if necessary. Bidder invitations are sent to the email addresses listed here. This completes the Import Contacts to Sourcing Event Invitations feature description. Additional features and enhancements added for FSCM Update Image 43 include the ability for future approvers to view the approval chain and add comments when approving transactions, the ability to create application dataset files using the Data Migration Workbench for journal source security, the ability to send budget object class, and the expansion of the Disaster Emergency Fund code field for government-wide Treasury account symbol adjusted trial balance requirements, the ability to run the validation process prior to running the single action invoice and finalize and print processes in billing, the addition of user-defined fields for inventory items, and the addition of the pushback option in Asset Management Approvals. We've only shown you the highlights of the features in this PeopleSoft Update image. For more information about these features and the other enhancements, see the CFO tool, the Update Image Overview on My Oracle Support, and go to the PeopleSoft Information Portal for updates.